there's a lot of stuff here. And a screaming kid. My favorite thing. Babe, you want some uh, new underwear? They got their... It's a good place to store your banana. Hey y'all, Chuck here with No Time To Be Sad, and this is my beautiful wife of 15 years, Paige. We downsized, saved, and liquidated to quit our lifestyle in America of living for things to a life of wherever it might take us. We moved to Thailand in November of 2016. We currently live Thai style on the Mekong River in a town called Tat Phanom in the province of Nakhon Phanom. This is my wonderful Thai family. Every day for us is an adventure and we spend most of our time exploring and living for the moment. We know nothing lasts forever and we try to enjoy every new day we have. I don't have time for things that really don't matter in my life. So there you have it. No time to be sad. Good morning, everybody here in Karat, Thailand. We are at the Terminal 21 Sin... What is this place called? I thought I had it right. Center Point. It's right here on the paper. Today we are going to just chill today. Gonna go check out... This is one of the most beautiful malls I think in Thailand and uh, it has a lot of stuff here let's go see if we can entertain our entertain ourselves today downstairs they've got a huge tower let's go up in the tower and look at the big city they have a this is a very beautiful hotel hopefully we can get in the pool today I don't know it's pretty cloudy it doesn't look like we will be but uh, it's gonna be a chill day gonna try to find my mom another phone we're gonna buy her a phone here. She has an iPhone back home, but I don't think it has a SIM card in it. We're gonna get her a new phone here, and then we'll set it up before we uh, before we head to Thailand with my mom uh, when we meet up with her in Texas. So, breakfast uh, first thing uh, first thing we need to do this morning. Let's go eat breakfast. There's a lot of stuff here, and a screaming kid. My favorite thing. Yeah, that's what everybody wants. <laughs> Throw them in the pool. Okay, I'm not gonna annoy you guys with it. The oven's pretty good. Crab stick sandwich. Mm. Hey, look, Mom, organic sugar. Do you want me to steal a bunch of these and put them in my pocket for you? <laughs> I'll see how many I can get in Paige's purse. I know that we haven't discovered what the new norm is going to be in the world. I won't be disappointed if they like, keep the masks and the gloves really in the in the buffet because I don't know you got people touching everything breathing on everything nothing's really behind like in the US sometimes it's behind glass you know so they can't so anyway I'm not I kind of hope they keep some things you know I mean you don't have to wear it while you're sitting or eating at your table well, the breakfast wasn't too bad but when you're traveling and you and it includes breakfast for me not anymore, but I was like, I feel obligated to like eat as much as I can, you know. And then we always find something good for lunch and then I just overdo it. So I'm just eating a little bit. I probably had one. I had a custard salad, salad, pal, soft bun and a pork because I didn't know the first one was a, <laughs> was a sweet one. So I ended up with two. I didn't have to eat them, but they were really good. I didn't get any toast though. I see the little sandwiches look good, but I'm trying not to eat so much bread while we travel. I know that's going to be really difficult to do in the U.S., but it is what it is. There's no sense in trying to diet. You just got to try to not eat so much and uh, try to burn off some calories somehow. It's Saturday, so I feel like there's going to be a lot of kids in the swimming pool so we probably won't do the pool today 
For kids? They always had, they had a, but they had a whole list of things that happened. I don't know, this is a big mall with a huge conference room, a lot of things happening in here, so. Uh, uh, problem sometimes, like on the weekends, there's always a lot of kids, and the kids sometimes are with the, they, they go with the parents, but the problem is, is the grandparents raise the kids, so the grandparents let the kids do whatever the hell they want to do, and then when they get with the parents, the parents just, you know, they don't, they don't want to discipline the kids either, so the kids just do whatever the hell they want to do sometimes, so it's not fun sometimes on the weekends around the kids, but it's okay, you just got to manage your way around it. Okay, good morning, mall. It is just before 10 o'clock. Everybody dresses so fancy out here. I look like a damn hobo again with my six pack shirt. The good thing about me is I don't really give a shit. It's okay. <laughs> I think we need to go down one more though. Uh, actually two, two more. Yeah. We got a fine page of pharmacy. Is it this one? Oh, maybe it's the other one. Yeah, we gotta go. Actually, we can go right across. It's okay. Last night I walked all over the place trying to find paid some cough syrup. But, uh, and I saw on my phone you could go across the catwalk to the other side. And I got over there after it took me a while to figure out how to get there. And then they were closed. So I smell dessert. So I don't know how many floors are here. <laughs> a lot. There's a pharmacy. It's not open yet. But uh, everything is, uh, this is the Caribbean, Caribbean, and every floor has a theme. Let's walk around a little bit. I think things open at 10, but this is Thailand, so 10 is not always 10. That's 10.30. Here's where all the sweetness is. Yeah. That's what I got. This is a little market. There's a pharmacy right there, open. That's a beauty. It says pharmacy next to it. See? Yeah. This is what I wanted to get her last night. It's a it's a Chinese cough syrup, but it's very strong. But it does it works really good at night. Mm -hmm. You got your backpack, you can put it in there. Hey, there's Mr. Herb. For kids. These little herb shops are all over the town. They have them in the, actually in the airport too, that same herb shop. You get all kind of herbs and get uh, tiger bombs. I hate to see Paige sick. Like I would, I, I would much rather be two times sick than she is than her be sick, period. I, I hate it when she's sick. I'd rather be sick. definitely don't need anything sweet with that cough. So you better heal up quick. <laughs> Annie Ann's, that uh, pretzel thing with the ham and cheese was really good. I saw this last night. They have a 24 hour fitness, which is very popular in America. It's called Jets, but 24 hour fitness. It, maybe it's not like the, the 24 hour fitness. Maybe it's just, uh, yeah, never mind. It's Jets Fitness. It just opened 24 hours. But it's pretty, it's actually pretty big. This is the Paddy level. One of those. Starbucks. Babe, you want some uh, new underwear? They got their. You don't have to worry about felt kaput. <laughs> uh, that'll be enough of that. They got a padlock on that. Nikes, about a hundred dollars. Well, these are 
looks like about $130. Some sale stuff. I think shoes still are probably, you're probably better off bringing tennis shoes. But you can get them here. Just a little bit more money. Cheaper than flying back home. You can get that if you want. This is the London, London level. On sale section, little travel section. It's a cool looking backpack. 50% off. This is, uh, so that would make this bag 500 baht. What is that? Mm -hmm. Is the face mask necessary? Okay. Mm. cooking grill. That's pretty cool actually, huh? Mm -hmm. That thing right there is about $70. That's kind of high, huh? Home Pro. like donuts. I think this is the Insta Bowl yeah. section. Middle Eastern. I know there's, there's a lot of massage back here. Let's go in this little travel store and look around. We got a Cuttable Hulk neck brace. There's a backpack. Now everybody has twisting disc. Twisting weight disc. I, I think I would break that. <laughs> Sorry. Somebody already did it, well, not me. It's a good place to store your banana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. This is my favorite section. The Tokyo section. This whole place is kind of set up like a market in Tokyo. And since we, we're in Tokyo, it, it does kind of look similar uh, mm -hmm. to Tokyo markets. Tokyo is a very cool place. I can't wait to go back. You want some hair? They got gold hair. Look, they got uh, full-size cougar outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Just endless clothes everywhere. 
<laughs> Big people clothes. It's which I want. Which I want. Gaming section. Gaming computers. I see a lot of people not wearing masks. I'm not gonna wear my mask. It's just <laughs> There's nobody around me other than my wife. I'm not in a crowded place. They change the rules over and over again, but I don't really know that there is rules for face masks. We'll just see what happens. It feels weird not wearing one in here. But I don't care. <laughs> Okay, mom, here's your phone. A23. Uh, 8,000 baht. Uh, the, <laughs> the phone, the price was 7,999 baht. So the final price after paying was 7,999 baht. So everything's included in that price. So very cool, huh? I, it's a lot of times in the U.S. when you buy something, you know, you get all taxes. kinds of taxes and fees and all kind of special things, you know. You know, very cool. I had a subscriber send me a GoPro, a brand new GoPro 10 that he bought for us. Uh, he mailed it to my friend's house in Texas and they're going to bring it. But that thing here is 16.5 so that's like uh 550 dollars or 500 and something dollars 530. if you come up to the japanese toilets these are uh i mean the japanese section you can check out the if you've never experienced a toilet in japan you can experience it here in japan they love their toys don't they I've never seen so many like grown-ups buying collectibles and stuff like that. What value? Elephant? <laughs> I don't know. You don't want monkey anymore. Get a new flag for the wall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jamaican flag. Dream Town. You gonna come dream in there? I like this store. Paige is gonna go to this pharmacy over here. Um, in this pharmacy, she can get some antibiotics, uh, which you can buy over the counter, but not. Apparently, not every pharmacy in the store has antibiotic. I want to go up in the sky thing, but. I think you have to pay for it over here and they take you up. Yeah. Not right not right now though. There it is, sky deck. We'll do that later. Maybe. Well, my poor baby's not feeling good, so she needs to sleep. She took some medication. I'm just going to go wander around the mall, I guess, and let you sleep. No swimming today. I don't want to go by myself, so it's okay. Plenty of time to swim. You need to get sleep and get better by maybe a couple of days, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll take you to the clinic and get a shot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got some herbal tea. I had to go to that herbal shop. Not some uh, ginger tea for Paige. She ran out, so I got her. Got her that. It's like a eleven dollar. Probably could have got it real cheap in the in the market store, but maybe this is better stuff, huh? That's what I need. A soft ice cream cone from the, it's the Danish Thai milk. It's good stuff. Mm. I 
I was killing some time, I was going to go walk around the block. So I realized it was a really long block. So uh, I just jumped on a, uh, a tuk-tuk. Okay, my legs started cramping up, so uh, I just took that, gave them a hundred baht. It's only a little tour around 50 baht, but uh, I don't know. I like to tip. My legs hurt a little bit. I've just put in, what is that, 8,000 steps. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's my Thai skills right there. I failed. Yeah. I failed Paige. I thought she said she wanted ginger tea. Yeah, ginger tea. So <laughs> I got her ginger tea. It's not ginger tea. What is that? It's a tea. It's a tea. What kind of tea is that? It's for diabetes, cholesterol. <laughs> okay. She wants the, the pre mixed stuff that you just add into the hot water. Nam King. So we're going to go back to the store. I was going to go down there, but she said she wants to. Actually, I was going to order room service. And I called down there and they said, oh, today we're not doing room service. Not today. <laughs> okay. So she goes, let's go. I'll go. Do you want your phone or no? Well, whose phone is that over there? Is that your extra phone? Yeah. Paige is a pimp. Let's go. You want to do Karate Kid? No, I'm not that guy. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. I thought you learned. Yeah, when I was like, you know, 20 years old, you know? Now I'm just a fat guy. <laughs> I fight dirty now. Actually, I just fight to win. Whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this Foodland supermarket says to be open 24 hours. It's on the very lower ground level of the mall. And they've got all kinds of stuff, even alcohol. As long as you can buy it in the right time. That's not alcohol. No. Oh crap, look, they got Tito's. I should show Paige that. They have two of them. Paige. Yeah. Probably can't buy it. I don't know what the time is it. Got yeah, another 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. Laura, you're just going to have to drink Thai style. <laughs> They've got quite a few Falang uh, seasonings in here too, actually. Well, we're not going to go to the tower because Paige isn't feeling well. Next time. Well, that's as much as you can see. <laughs> Sit back. Are we up to? I think we're up too high. I always get the wrong floor. We gotta go down one. That, that little playground, well, that thing is huge, this playground. Actually. Hmm. 
I just ordered a bunch of food. <laughs> Place has some really cool looking chicken. We were gonna eat here last night, but the girls were just sitting on there staring at their phones and it looks like that's uh, what they're still doing. They still look at the phones. Yeah. <laughs> So I got this like extremely hot, spicy chicken. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, that looks like really, really good. But I've already ordered a bunch of food. So mm -hmm. maybe next time. Mm -hmm. That looks good though. But I did get some cheese balls. pizza balls. Yeah, I know that sounds good. A lot of good stuff in here, it looks like, huh? Mm -hmm. Feeling a little better? Yeah. She's got some medicine she needs to take but she has to eat right before she eats food so 15 minutes yeah but that was a sushi bar we saw yesterday we they just have the sign here joe's you guys don't know what you're missing joe's crab shack is pretty good but they don't have it here it's just a sign we need to go get nam king Look, 10,000 steps. We went up there to order the food because it's going to take 15 minutes. And I was just going to get me a couple of beers. But they don't sell beer until 5 o'clock. And right now it is 9 minutes till. So. Get some e cola, e cola, some mountain mint. Didn't you know you can't eat those unless you're nude? They only work if you're nude. Okay. So I want to see you have it. No, I don't have a sore throat. It's only you. <laughs> That's what she wanted. Actually, I could have bought probably three of them for what I paid for that other stuff. Lori will already be here by the time this video comes out. She actually loves, like she has to never eat Fruit Loops because she loves them so much. She used to eat them as a snack. But uh, she, every time we bring some around her, she's like, get that away. So I'm going to put them all over the truck for her. Because <laughs> I'm just that kind of a guy, you know. It's all the root beer. I got hot hot wings, so I don't need that. Here's some buffalo Tabasco. Hmm. That was perfect timing. Ready to go. Mm -hmm. My French fries. Pizza balls, a cup of something for Paige, french fries, and chicken. Chicken, flaming hot chicken. It's okay, we have a Japanese bidet. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Hot. Well guys, it's 6 o'clock in the evening. Paige is still not really feeling well. She just took her second dose of medicine. Mm -hmm. We are going to get up tomorrow, eat breakfast, and head to Bangkok. Mm -hmm. Our friends are uh, getting on a plane here in a few minutes from Houston. They got a long flight. Uh, we're going to let them sleep uh, in Bangkok, and then we're going to pick them up the following day. So Paige will feel better tomorrow. If not, it's okay. we got one day to relax. You can relax in the car, and uh, you'll be better tomorrow. Okay. All right, guys. Come with us tomorrow to Bangkok. We're going to be staying at a really cool hotel called, I think it's called Sawanapongville. Sawanapum Villa? Oh, Sawanapum View. <laughs> it's going to be fun, guys. Come with us. 
We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.